ladies and gentlemen, today we'll be installing the F4 mod for DCS World. Click here. Wait for 15 seconds. Click. It's the, the download site. <laughs> I definitely pronounced that wrong. And just click here. It will start the download. Here. Of course, I've already downloaded it. Next thing you want to do is right click and open WinRAR. Win raw. Then you want to go to your saved games folder. It's either DCS for Steam users or DCS.OpenBeta for website users or standalone users. Go to mods. If aircraft isn't there, create it. And then put the mod in here. You're done. Congratulations, you installed the F4 mod. Let's do the startup. So, first thing you want to do, go here, engine start, put at neutral position, put for bo both boost pumps to the down position for normal, and put the engine master switches left and right to the forward position. After that, I want to go to here and put the left generator switch to EXT or external power basically. After that, you can go to ground crew, ground air supply, and connect. Chief, connect ground air supply. Also, I'm going to go to ground crew and ground, air supply is now connected. ground electric power. On. Chief, turn on the ground power. <coughs> Excuse me. Copy. Ground power is now on. Then we'll put the site at either air to air or air to ground. Whichever you prefer. I you could too use this as an indicator of electricity towards the jet. Next thing. Engine start. Doesn't matter which one. Left click is for left, right click is for right. I'll we'll start up the engines. You can see it going. Here's the fuel flow in thousands, I guess. Anyway, and of course the percentage, or RPM percentage, percentage, and temperature. Okay, now do for the right engine. While we while we are waiting, this is the radar scope. Site select. Uh, site depression angle. This is your true airspeed in knots. Ground radar. Yeah, radar. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not gonna. Your radar altitude. This is your altitude. In, no, this is your knots. Knots. This is your airspeed in knots. Angle of attack. Angle of attack of, is also displayed over here. This is your descent or climb rate in thousands of feet per minute. This is your altitude in feet. And this is your fuel quantity. Only internal fuel. Engines are up. Next thing. Left engine. Left gen. Forwards. I'll start forwards. Now you can disconnect the air supply. Chief, disconnect ground air supply. And turn off electric power. Shop, turn off the ground power. Oh, ground, ground power. Air supply is now disconnected. Copy. Ground power is now off. Okay, after that, um, you can get this keybind. Basically, I'm using my mouse right now. 
you can see here here's my wing the default keybind is white control and P there we go okay now next key bind obviously is left control and C for the canopy to go down Nito. Next, wait on some symbology. This, this is the cursor. This displays where the cursor is in distance. This displays the current radoscope display and how far the range is in the scope. You can increase this by right control and minus or equal to increase the range in the local miles. This shows the angle of the radar. All the way up 20, 20 plus no, plus 20 degrees minus 38 degrees. Okay, neato. Some key binds you need to be aware of. Or just go to sensors. Lock is not binded. Radar on and off is not binded. And RWR is also not binded. I don't know why, but it's not binded for some reason. This is where you'll get all of your radar key binds. Okay. It's taxi.